On Sunday, I turned 21 and I'm very grateful for everything that I have been granted and blessed with in these last 21 years. But in these same 21 years, the earth has been destroyed and deteriorated to an almost irreversible state. A code red has been placed on humanity and this has been done by Antonio Guterres, the UN General Secretary. In 2000, our world global average temperature was 14.5 degrees Celsius. But now in 2021, it is estimated to be 15 and a half degrees Celsius. That means a one degree increase in the span of two decades. Now, this may not seem like a lot to you, but take into account this is an average. So it takes into account Siberia and Antarctica, which are some of the coldest places on Earth. Around 51 million hectares or 513,000 kilometers squared has been lost from the Amazon rainforest. This statistic doesn't even include the other hundreds of rainforests that exist around the world. According to the World Wildlife Fund for Nature or WWF, our natural extinction rate has accelerated by a thousand or 10,000 times. This means that every year around 200 to 2,000 species go extinct on average. Since the 2000s, the northern white rhinoceros, the west African black rhino, the spix macaw, and the melicarpe niale have all gone extinct. These may not seem like very well-known species to you, and so why should we even care, right? But in the next 21 to 30 years, if we continue the same patterns that we have been doing so for the last 21 years, more well-known species and animals will go extinct, such as the rhino in general, the polar bear, koala bear, and even elephants. The benefits of these plants and animals go way beyond their aesthetic and recreational values. They play a large, indirect, and sometimes unnoticed role in many of our lives. They help our food chains, climate regulation, air quality, food provision, and just our survival in general. In 2000, the plastic pollution average was globally estimated to be just above 150 million metric tons. However, now in 2021, it is estimated to be 300 to 350 million metric tons, with 75% ending up in our oceans and rivers. It is also known that only in the last 15 years has the majority of all the plastic ever made been produced. In terms of carbon dioxide, in 2000 it was 370 parts per million whereas now in 2021 it is estimated to be at 412 parts per million and i think the scariest statistic if you're not bothered so much about biodiversity and our air quality is that between the years of 2000 and 2019 510,000 people died and 3.9 billion people were affected by climate related disasters. The climate disasters were estimated to be around 6,700 in the last 20 years. These climate related disasters include droughts, floods and famine. With the most recent examples of these climate related disasters being the European wildfires and floods or in South Africa, having the Western Cape almost reach a day zero in terms of water. All of these stats may be overwhelming for you, either because, like me, you're very well informed with what's going on in the world, and these statistics really do make you see the severity of climate change, or you're not so well informed or didn't realize that climate change was at the state that it is. But either way, I think these stats are very shocking to hear. So my message for my 21st birthday through all of the stats and everything that I mentioned, especially the last one about how our own human lives are being affected by climate related disasters, is that we as humans are causing our own demise, destroying our own lives. We have underestimated and overexploited Earth in these last 21 to 30 years. And right now, that is why Earth is trying to fight back in every single way possible. The time to make a change is right now. It doesn't have to be immediate and it doesn't have to be very big. But taking a small step into changing your own life, either by getting more informed through articles and documentaries about how climate change truly is changing and how we are causing it, or even if it's trying to find more sustainable alternatives in your life, whether that is for your food or your toiletries, Anything will help to reduce the plastic pollution that we are facing or reduce your waste as a whole. Any change and every change that you make may seem insignificant to you, but I swear that it makes the biggest difference. A perfect example of this is using a reusable straw. A reusable straw can last on average up to a year, meaning that the 50 to 60 plastic straws that you could have used throughout the year will not be used and not end up in our oceans, meaning that even one individual marine life will be saved 
by not choking or ingesting the plastic straw that you used which could have ended up in the ocean. If everyone had to make this small change of replacing a plastic straw with a reusable straw, our marine life's survival rate will increase beyond our wildest imaginations or beyond what we even thought capable in these last 20 years. We have to make a change and everybody has to get involved in the climate crisis and fight in one way or another because without doing so we are bringing our own death not only as individuals, not only as a family but as a species to a closer draw. If we do not fight in one way or another, we are ensuring that our future generations do not survive or that they are faced with the worst life possible. I beg of you to please open your eyes up to the reality. We are causing our own pain and letting it happen. We are letting our house burn down and we are not doing anything to help it and rather watching it burn down to the ground. If you had to see your own physical home burn to the ground, your immediate response would be to call the fire department. If you had injured yourself, you would be the first one to go to a doctor's room to find out what's wrong or how you can help it. So why not do the same with climate change? My message is to help save our home in whatever way possible so that the next 21 years of my life, your life, your future generation's life and the Earth's life as a whole does not mirror the statistics that I mentioned earlier in this video. This is not a request. It is a declaration of emergency. Thank you.